link that's not the link that I asked you to follow because I don't know how to do that. I don't know why. So if you are joining me and you're just hopping over because the other link that I shared earlier wasn't working, I don't know why that is. I've tried to figure it out and I don't know. So that one will be deleted and I'm going to wait for everybody to come over here. So hello and welcome to my confusing world. Uh, this is, I'm back, it's a live sale day. It's been two weeks and I haven't had a sale. So I'm super excited to have the sale today. I have some cool things that I'm going to show you for sale. And I'm just going to wait for people to hop on over because of that whole confusion. So we're just going to do that now. I'm going to take a little drink of my pink drink that I had to go buy myself to get because Emma is in school. So I don't know if you're watching, Emma. Hi, Emma. She's not watching. She's in training. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. I've missed you all so much being able to. Oh, I'm blurry and choppy. Am I blurry and choppy, Graham? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi because sometimes that helps. see today because it's been a while hello hi mama j hi hemlock hi connie hi randy are the normal things struggling or are you just i no it it takes a few minutes when i turn off the wi-fi <laughs> to like think oh, okay. hi little vintage me so is that better is it better better uh it's a little bit of a struggle bus it's you're looking like that um, better i think it's better probably than what it was hello hello okay so let me know let me know if if i'm buffering or doing any of those kinds of things uh so because i turned the that wi-fi off but if i need to turn it back on let me know hi stephanie it's better okay thank you casey Ooh, someone says it's not better it's not better it's eh. It looks better than it did, but it's not high quality by any means. <laughs> okay. Hi, Michelle. Chat's going fast. Yeah, it is going fast. It, let me, should I turn it back on? Should I turn it back on? It's not great. Okay, Lori, let me try. Hang on, guys. I'm going to turn it back on. We're going to turn it back on and see. Because I want it to be clear. Because if it's not clear, then that's kind of defeating the purpose. So let's see if I turn the Wi-Fi off or on. Graham's turning loading. the, it's, it's, well, it's loading because it's buffering. Let's see. Hi, Terry Ann. Hi, Kelly. I think people uh, have joined the new live stream now. Okay. It's clear. It's clear. Is it clear? <laughs> Graham's like, my, my thing's really on the struggle bus today. Well, it's okay. It drives me crazy. It just drives me crazy. Let me move you a little bit closer because I'm a little far away. Uh, I think it depends on the Wi-Fi. I think our Wi-Fi is just pretty janky here because you're looking like that. Oh. <laughs> I don't like to look at myself. It's lagging a little. Man, oh man. Why? Can you try a different Wi-Fi? Oh, you know what? Can I try a different Wi-Fi from my phone? Yeah, you should be able to. This is a struggle bus. I'm really <laughs> I'm really apologizing. But if I turn my Wi-Fi off, it might. Listen, let me try something. If it loses, then we'll just create another one. Okay? And I'll send everyone to that one. <laughs> so let me let me see. I'm going to switch Wi-Fi service. Not services, but Wi-Fi options. Okay. So hang on. Hang on. Let's see if this, because it may end it. I don't know. Okay, is that any better? I'm on the free Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi that I pay for. I'm on the free Wi-Fi. It's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Thank you, free Wi-Fi that I don't pay for. See, like you're looking like that now. You're not so pixelated. Yeah. Thank you for your Wi-Fi that I don't pay for. I'll remember to do that. It's just, okay, it should buffer for just a few minutes 
and then it will be it should be good because it's Graham you're you're making me your your face is is it's better and it's better until you start to move right now it's now it's on the struggle listen I can't stand here and not move <laughs> because that's impossible for me technical difficulties I know it's it's never now some people say that it's far blurry for them i got one other option you can try okay what's our other so, option uh you're gonna join my wi-fi okay so gosh darn it let's try one more thing i'm surprised there's 95 people still watching because this is something else <laughs> this is there's a little bit of a lag from when i'm live and going to you you know it wouldn't be a live sale with me if if there wasn't some sort of an issue. Is it better, Graham? It's a bit better, yeah. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. We need to think of another name for Wi-Fi. No-Fi. <laughs> Disaster. Disaster-Fi. So is this better? Graham has saved the day. And we'll see what we can do to figure this out for next week. Seems better. Working better. Okay, good. Yay. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit better. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a bit better. Well, let's take a, a few moments to say hello to Graham. <laughs> Hi, Graham. Hello. You can't see him, but he's here. Hello. He is my helper. He is my best friend's son, and he is helping me. Did you show Graham? No, Graham, do you even want to be on? I can come say hi. Graham will come and say hi. Hi. Not He's not looking fancy. He's not looking fancy. Oh, see everyone saying hi to Graham. Oh, everybody's saying hi to me. Oh, hello. Say everybody. hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my space now. That's my Graham. <laughs> Graham has a pet bearded dragon. Oh, he's my best friend. I, I always call him, um, what's his, how do you say his actual name? His, his actual name is Jormungandr. Jormungandr is his actual name. But we just call him Gunther. We just call him Gunther. Hey, everyone selling Graham. Graham is wonderful. Graham is... Um, Thank you to the person who called me a cutie and uh, the one who said I look like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Ed Sheeran, yeah. <laughs> he does look a little bit like Ed Sheeran. I, I, I didn't think that. <laughs> he just got his high school diploma today, so that's mm -hmm. awesome. And um, he has been a very good help for his mama because his mama is having rat problems and she's having surgery tomorrow. So he's helping me today, and he's helping his mama. So he's a good son. The voice isn't matching up. Sandra, did you try it? Maybe try refreshing. Yeah, I, for anybody struggling, go to your settings and take your quality and turn it to 720p. Okay. And that might help a little bit. Graham said go to your settings and turn it to 720p, and that might help the quality. Maybe it is. <laughs> maybe you can. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started because I have, you know, I said I wasn't going to show as many things, but I, I did, but I have a lot of small things. So make sure that you refresh. Sometimes you have to like completely close out and then come back on. So it was Emma watching? Yeah, she's here. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. She's away from her mama. <laughs> it makes me sad. Okay. Oh, and also before I forget, let me go ahead and, and run through this, this spiel. So if you win something, well, I'm going to show an item. I'm going to explain it a little bit, and I'm, it's going to have a number. Just the item that I'm showing, all you have to do is type the number in this person who's on our end. Great, great. Am I back? Nope, still up. It's just a struggle with us today. Okay, I think you're back. I think you're good. Uh-oh. Take a few minutes because it'll it'll buffer and then it'll yeah. be back. I mean, you're, you're back right now, but uh, I'll try and keep you aware. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, John. John has a YouTube channel. Show me pickers. Make sure you go check out his YouTube channel. He is also an antique shop owner in Missouri. Is it buffering? No, somebody. I just like these comments. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> The comments are you got the comments are wonderful because everyone is so, so great. Fine. Yeah, the ghost is Mr. Webb. 
I like to call him Mr. Webb. I wonder if I should turn the Wi- Should I turn the Wi-Fi off again? If you want to try. If you want to try and switch it to data, you can. I don't know how to do that. Okay. <laughs> Graham is going to show- Gra Emma, we're having a hard time. I missed you already. <laughs> we miss you. So let's see- Let's see if I can If Graham, help. Graham's oh, going to see if we can- I don't know how to use So you go phone. down like that. There's the Wi-Fi. So just click it. I need, I need a little bit something stronger to drink. It's buffering blue for me. Not plugged in. I wonder if we plug the booster in, it would decide to work. See that little white box? You just plug it in. Lori, we're trying to figure it out. I know, poor Graham. He's going to quit. This is my first day. He's going to be like, I quit. <laughs> this is a disaster. It's okay. I, I won't quit. It's the only time I get out of the house. So <laughs> he's a good. He's a good son. Hey, you're looking good. Oh, you're yay! Good. Oh, so the thank you, Y Xfinity Wi-Fi buffer. I love you today. You are my favorite person. Yes. Okay. Thank you, person. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Webb. Thank you for helping the Wi-Fi buffer to work. We appreciate you. All right. I, I think it's yeah. I can move around and everything. I wouldn't do too much, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me show you. Oh, uh, also, I got interrupted by myself. Um, make sure that you do send me an email if you win something. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at Gmail .com. I will have all of the instructions down in the description, so you don't have to write anything down right now. After this is over. You can go and, and, and check it then. And Graham, if I go bad again, you just say, hey, yeah. no, no. I'll okay. Harass you. Yeah, totally harass me. Um, am I drinking very, very? No, I'm drinking a, a strawberry refresher with lemonade. It's very, very good. It has caffeine in it too. Mm -hmm. And look, I'm drinking all this water. Today. I didn't drink any of it yet today. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. So send me the email if you win something. And I'm also doing an offer up, which is not an auction. It's an offer up. So I have a, several things that I, it's going to be a minute and I will, I, I'm calling it an offer up and I will start it at a price and then you guys can just name your own price. And it will be for a minute. I will say stop. I will say end. And it will be, we're going we're gonna to try that today and see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Webb is always here. Mr. Webb, I'll tell you the story about Mr. Webb maybe another time, but let's, it's very blurry. Oh, I'm not even gonna read those anymore because I can't, it's gonna be blurry for some people and probably not blurry for others. This is as good as it's getting, folks. Okay, how would you guys like some corns that have very um, kind of Donald trump ish hair? Do you see the, hi mom. My mom just moved to Florida. She's watching. Um, they kind of look like Donald Trump hair. Uh, these are corn shakers that are attached, like you can't pull them apart. They are marked Japan. They both have their corks. So on one side, you can, whatever, you can shake out your salt and your pepper. And on the other side, you can do that as well. There are no chips, cracks, or flaws on them. They're in really good condition. Um, they are $6.00. And they are number 40. Six dollars, number 40, for the cute little Donald Trump corns. Whoop for me. So six dollars on the corn shakers. And Graham, you just let me know who you see. Yeah. Or Emma would just tell me. It's kind of hard to type in. So we've got Cheryl uh, Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins, you got the corns. So make sure that you do send me an email and it'll all be in the description box below. I'm already gonna apologize for any names I butcher. What, well, listen, they're used to me butchering names because mm -hmm. I butcher names all the time. Sue, if Sue's watching, I, will, I call her Sue T because I can never say her last name correctly. <laughs> all right. And I'm gonna try to pay attention to the chat as well, but if I miss you, it's because I'm a little frazzled right now because of all the Wi-Fi issues. And um, it, it, I, I'm just gonna keep showing my stuff. So um, I have several things that are um, air plant 
vessels. They're they're not they're not priced very expensively, but I I I'm like buying a lot of these because I'm addicted to the air plants. So um, this is one of them. Now it's kind of hard to tell the color because it is very it's it's very pale pink. It's a cute little vintage pink color. Just a cute little watering can. I'm going to double check because yeah, all the the petals are good, but one little leaf here has been broken off. You can kind of see how this leaf kind of goes over. Uh, but this is a cute little vessel for an air plant. And if you haven't discovered the world of air plants, I highly suggest you do because there's no dirt. You just soak them in water for 20 minutes once a week and you're good to go. You can shove them in any vessel that you want. Um, this is $4 and it's number 31. Here's the back of it. Oh, it is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. $4, number 31. Oh, I don't, oh, Jared, I've never seen a fake air plant. That, that's even easier than a real air plant. Okay, oh, let's try this. And really, if those air plant vessels don't sell, you know I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna put more air plants in them, but I am running out of room for the air plant vessels. All right, next I have a box, and it is a box of Creme LaRue, or Cream LaRue. It is facial, facial soap. Uh, it's French process facial soap. Three cakes for 75 cents. I like, this was in a haul pretty, not too long ago, but Perfection in Toilet Soap uh, for shaving, shampoo, toilet, and bath. You, it is the entire box, the, the lid and the box. And someone, some child wrote a bunch of gibberish on the inside. Not sure what that means, but really neat thing to put in a, on a bathroom shelf for decor. I love the, um, the graphics on it. There is a little crease right there in the box. You can see this is $10. And it is number 49. $10, number 49 for the Creme La Rue Facial Soap Box. $10, number 49. Is the picture still clear? Yep. You're still We're good. still good? Okay. All right, next I have a piece of Watt Pottery. Now, my mom, like I said, she's just moved yesterday or the day before to florida and she's cleaned out some of her watt pottery this piece that i'm showing i see water baby number 49 kathy you got the facial soap box this was in the uh video yesterday the preview video now this is the um apple watt apple uh, with the two leaves. So the two leaves are a little bit older than the three leaves. This is a number uh, 15. Ooh, it's not going to show up very well. There you go. Uh, Watt Apple Pottery, little nugget of a of a vase or a pitcher. Uh, this, like I said, is the it's an older one. These were made, I believe that they were made in Ohio. My mom's watching, so she's probably going to chime in here because she knows all about this stuff. Um, I have... Yeah, number two, 15 leaves. I kind of wrote myself some notes on here. Um, this is $12. There aren't any chips on it anywhere. You can see it does have crazing. It's $12 and it is number seven. $12, number seven for the little Watt Apple two leaf um, pitcher that came from my mom's collection. Very cute. And she also told me that any of the things that she has given me to sell, I'm to give the money to Emma. So that's going to, the proceeds are going to go to Emma. I don't know if Emma even knows that. So, uh, Amanda Pearson. Amanda Pearson. I don't, I don't know if she's saying she wants number seven, but she ended her comment with that. So it's hi, it's been forever. Amanda, are you wanting number Pe or number Pearson number seven? Because if you don't, then we'll go to the next in line. So Graham's going to just kind of watch that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, hi, Laura. Okay, yes. Okay. 
Hi, Laura Bemos. Okay, let's try an off. Are you okay to try an offer up item, Graham? Uh, yeah. Are you want me to do one other thing before I do an offer up item? Uh, can you just say hi to everybody real quick? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, Amanda says she does want it. I got it. Okay. Are y'all ready for an offer up item? <laughs> Emma, your future husband is in town. Emma, did you hear that? Your future husband's at, at your future mother-in-law's house. Okay, this is something that I decided to do as an offer up because I have gotten so many messages on this little thing. And it's the saddest but the cutest thing that you ever did see. And it is the sad little cow. He's very sad. He's so sad that he's crying. Where's your tear at, Cal? Oh, right there. See his tear? He's so crying. Hi, Misty. Hi, Dee. And you can see his ribs. He's so sad. He is made in Japan. Um, he doesn't have any, well, I, I take that back. As I say that, he has one little chip right there in his ear. But that's it. He has a glazing flaw right here that's not a chip. It's just where the glaze didn't fully cover the mold. But look at his little face and his little pink ears. I don't know why he's so sad. A lot of people said that he reminds them of Ferdinand the cow. He's just unusual. So he is going to be an offer up item. So the way that this works is grandma's going to hit his timer and it's going to be it's going to be start and it will be for one minute. I'm going to start it at a price, and then when the timer goes off, the last price that's going to... Uh, the best time. Okay, has your disappointed face, you're good. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, grandma's ready. I'm going to start, it's a, it's a cow, not cold cow bull. It's a bull. Well, he's, it's a cow with horns. I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to get confused. Okay, so I'm going to start him at $6, and he's going to be for sale for one minute, and I'll just continue to show him. And as soon as Graham types in start. Okay, start. Start. I don't see your comment. It's, it's okay, I see it. So he's six. We're starting him as an offer up for $6. So highest is 12 Okay, twelve dollars is the highest. Okay, his little he's foot. Thirteen, twenty. He's so cute. All his wrinkles. Highest we have is highest $20. is twenty right now. Cheryl Hoskins at twenty for the sad little cow bull. Clown, not clown. <laughs> You're not a clown. Highest is still $20. $20 still for the sad bull, cow, steer, whatever you would like to call him. Uh, five seconds. Five seconds. $20 is still the highest offer. And we're done. Okay, stop. All right, so the highest was $20, and that goes to Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins, you won the little baby. Don't be sad, little fella. You're going to Cheryl's house. <laughs> Cheryl will take good care of you. All right. Okay, here we go. Next thing is a brooch. We have a brooch. I got this brooch. I, I'm trying to pay more attention to brooches because I really haven't in the past. But I like the animal. I like the figural brooches. And so I have a little... Um, seahorse. Couldn't remember what this was, but he is all bejeweled out and he's in a gold casing. Even his little eye is bejeweled. He has the lobster claw uh, clasp right there. No, no maker's marks on him at all. So he's just a, he's just a random little seahorse. Um, I have him for $8.00. And he is number 51. $8, number 51 for the little seahorse brooch. Hi, Andrea. Patricia, Patricia uh, Gesner. Patricia Gesner, you got the little seahorse 
for oh let me put this back on you bull because uh, i think you should mention that uh since the video is behind uh so people trying to bid last second that's probably not going to end well yeah well yeah but if you have if you are noticing that it's a little bit of a lag hit refresh you know what i'm going to graham can you bring me a pen because on these ones that i'm doing an offer up i probably should write the price on the tag so i don't get confused $20 on that one. yeah thank you so i don't want to get confused okay let's do a linen a piece of linen um this is a really really pretty piece uh, i love the birds on it it's a dresser scarf it's got these really lovely little blue birds on each end and it has a scalloped little scalloped edge and the thing that's nice about this is it has the stitch work all the way on the sides there. I'm trying not to show you the tag. And it's made out of linen. You can see up real close, you can see the linen. Um, Lena, Graham will go back and check to make sure. But it, it whoever's name is yeah, I, above I the stop. Is just, the winner. I just checked and it is 20. So anybody who said 22 after it yeah. stopped, I'm sorry, but that yeah, was it's a... whoever's name shows up on Graham's computer before. Okay. Personal conversation is making is someone complaining about the personal conversation? That happens a lot, but it, it is what it is because I'm a talker. All right, so the little dresser scarf does not have any stains on it, it is free of stains. Um, it is $12. And it was number 48. $12, number 48 for the bird dresser scarf. Okay, for everybody that's still arguing with me, I'm sorry. <laughs> we already got the winner. It's $20 to Cheryl. Cheryl, the bull, the bull knows he's going home with Cheryl. Okay. okay. So Janice, uh, Stevens. Janice Stevens. Janice Stevens. Janice, I still have that box over there that I need to open. I think I might do it live because it's, they're staring at me and I've got gnats flying all around me. Okay. All right, so let's try Dragonware. Who likes Dragonware? I have two Dragonware pieces. I'm not gonna sell them back to back because I numbered them very similarly, but I'm not gonna tell you if it's higher or lower because when I do show the other one, you'll forget, maybe. But I have a piece of Dragonware. It's a cup and saucer set. There's the plate, and here's the cup. And I'll show them individually. But you, I am going to give you the, um, the stand that goes with it, the display stand. So the display stand will, you know, here it is. It will come with it, so you can use it for display. But here's the plate. They are made in Japan. This one's kind of like a more of a gray, a smoky gray with the dragon wear and the dragon wear always does remind me of puffy paint for some reason y'all remember puffy paint from back in the 80s or maybe even 90s but just the here's the saucer it's made in japan and then here is the cup this one is very delicate and thin you you can't see it has no geisha girl or anything on the inside um, it's just very thin and delicate really well, bring me back Am I back? Nope, not yet. Yep, another tab needs to be open. Yep. Wait, no. Oh, yep, you're back. You're good. <sighs> <laughs> and I'm back. Okay, so that just happened without any notice. So, okay, sorry. Here's the dragon wear. Uh, it's very thin. This is just, it's not, it's just a sticker. I'll clean that up. I didn't see that, but that's not a chip or anything. It even has the gold along the side is still there. Very nice and delicate piece. So this set is $14. You get both pieces and the stand for $14. And it is number 19. 
$14, number 19 for the gray dragonware with the stand. Who? Kelly B. Kelly B. You win the number 19, the dragonware. Congratulations. Okay, next I'm gonna show you, this is an item that I bought from George um, at, when we went to Kentucky. And it has a little bit of a sticker here on the top too, but it's the first aid auto kit. Now I love this stuff. It's a piece of metalware. It's got the cool graphics on it. I like anything that I can display in my bathroom. So this was meant to be, you know, to keep in your car. It does have the contents. Now, I don't know that these are all of the contents that should be there, but it has the contents inside because I am not quite sure. Now, Graham's dad is an orthodontist. So I don't think that the tooth thing goes in the auto kit, but maybe so. But this says Stanley on it. So the little, what is this called, Graham? Do you even know what this is called? Uh, I mean, I would just call it a mirror. Mirror. It's a tooth mirror. <laughs> oh, Cindy's on. Oh, uh, that's my mama. My bestie, Cindy. Everybody wish Cindy well. She's having surgery tomorrow morning. We, I love my Cindy. Wish my mama well. Wish Cindy well. So it has the a bandage and a tourniquet and an adhesive tape and a gauze bandage. But it has everything that you don't really need. But it's still, it's all there. Uh, so this is, how much are you? You are $16 and it is number 60. $16 for number 60. The first aid auto kit. Okay, so we got Bailey. Bailey. Just Bailey. Just Bailey. <laughs> Bailey, you won this. So make sure, Bailey, I don't recognize your name, so make sure that you do send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Okay, let's try another, oh, Nikes. I don't think I have my black flashlight with me. I know, Mother, that you bought me another one, but I can't find it. Um, if it's anywhere, it's in my backpack that pink backpack i don't think that i have it with me it's in my other purse that i took okay it glows i don't have my black light to show you that it glows but it glows it all glows i think you'd seen it in the in my haul video that it glows but it glows it's really cool it's very cool so the first thing i have is this um ribbed and i never did spend a lot of time looking up the pattern. Randy, are you in there? Randy knows all about this kind of stuff. She always she always knows the patterns on everything. She's a great resource. Um, but this is a little footed mini, it's either a mini pit, pitcher or it's a creamer. It seems kind of big for it to be a creamer. It does glow. It doesn't have any markings on it at all. Uh, it does glow. It's in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks, no flaws anywhere. Not this one. And you, okay, Bailey, okay. All right, gotcha, Bailey. So this is going to be an offer, another offer up item. So I'm going to give a price and then for one minute, you guys can place your offers in and when the timer, are you okay? I No, I'm just, I'm just, please make sure people know, don't wait until last second. Yeah. You all got a minute, and it's the person's name who shows up to, on Graham's end of the computer above, right above the stop, is who will win it, okay? So, uh, no, no chips, no cracks, no flaws. It does glow. It's a piece of uranium glass. And we're going to go ahead, let me know when you are ready to hit the start. I'm ready when you are. Okay, and we're going to start this at $10 as well. Right. So, go. go, start. Ten dollars for the. I don't, it's either a mini pitcher or it is a creamer. It is footed. No chips, no cracks, no flaws. Hazel Atlas. Suzanne seems to think. I kind of thought so too, but normally Hazel Atlas will have a mark. And other pieces that I'm going to show do have the mark on it. I see fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen dollars. 
about 30 seconds left. Everybody. 30 seconds left. Amy, I see Amy Crawford at $18. Yeah, 19. $19. Blue Flamingo. Blue Flamingo. 20 is Amy. No chips, no cracks, no flaws. Can't believe I don't have my black light here. Got about 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Highest is 20. 20 is still Amy Crawford at 20. 22 is Amy Crawford. 22, Amy Crawford. and it's over. Okay. Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. You are the winner at $23. It's a cool piece. Cool, cool pleat. Cool, cool piece. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, these I these were in a haul video as well. A lot of this stuff has been in a haul video because I've had this kind of all set out after I've done the haul and, and knew I knew I was going to have a couple weeks off, so I just kind of let it sit there. So many of these items have been in a haul video. These are not normally, it's not typically my style of things that I normally source for. And they're these little Asian figures. They're really, really pretty. I love the colors on them. They have this cute little, almost like a Grecian to me style on the bottom. And I got them, well, they're made in occupied Japan. That's one of the reasons why, because y'all know that I like occupied Japan pieces. But um, the reason why I really, really like them is because they have the FW War Woolworth Company tag. They just have it on one of them, but they were purchased at Woolworths which I think is just nostalgic and really, really neat. So ooh, let me turn you around, buddy, so you're facing the same way as your girl. There aren't any damage on these at all. There's no chips, no cracks, no flaws on them anywhere. Uh, and they are $10 for the set. You'll get both of them for $10, and they are number 24. Number 24 for the Asian figures from the Woolworths Company. Made in occupied Japan. Okay, so we've got Kelly B. Kelly B. Yeah, I saw in the comments, Graham, you're doing a good job. Everyone's saying oh, he's doing right. a good job. It's it's kind of a lot to get used to. My, my mind's kind of on autopilot. So really, if, if he if he forgets to, to do stop to say stop, you heard me say stop. So it's whatever I'm name trying to starts. Tell her I'm trying to stop a timer. I'm trying to. Pay he's multitasking. Time. He's multitasking. That is not easy for me. <laughs> Okay, so who did we say for that one? So we said Kelly B. Oh, and what was the price on the uranium one? Uh, it was $23. $23? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Let's try a tablecloth. This tablecloth is lovely. I love it. It doesn't have any, any stains on it or flaws on it. It's a big tablecloth. And you know, it's very hard to show it in, in full because it's because of the, of the camera angle, but um, let me show you the the print on it. But you see it's pinks and purples and greens. I take that there is a little tea stain right. Can you see that tea stain? Probably not right there. Now, again, with all my linens, I, I've washed them. They're freshly laundered, but they have not been treated because that's, I don't do that. So it has a white center with these really pretty flowers all the way along the edge. I would say it's it's about a five foot tablecloth. So it would fit on a five foot table. So it's not the card table size, it's a big size. I'm five foot three and I have it on the ground and it's just slightly under my head. So this tablecloth, where is the tag? It's all the way down here on the bottom. Nice linen tablecloth, no holes in it. It is $16 and it's number 47. $16, number 47 for the really fun and vintage, very spring so tablecloth. We got Deanna Dill. Deanna Dill. That's a fun name. I know. Some people have really fun names to say. Like, I don't know if Lorianne, Lorianne used to go by Sugar Britches. Oh, and she's changed her name. But I like saying sugar. She'll, Lorianne, you'll always be sugar britches to me. You'll always be sugar britches. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. I don't know. I get a lot of people asking me about my nails. These are, it's real nail polish, but they're decals. They're stickers. And I'm having a, a sale. A friend of mine sells them. 
and I'm having a sale and in the community tab of my YouTube page, there's a link to the party. So I love these. I use them all the time. I don't go to the salon. I put these on, they last for about a week and a half and then I just, just change it. So I'm just throwing that out there. I told her I would mention it and, um, and I did, and I love the stuff. So just throwing that out there. Okay. Let's go. That the dad got these not too long ago, and I'm selling them together. I'm selling them as a set. They're very they're these little like little dresser um, oil lamps. They are they're not marked made in Japan, but they're made in Japan. I can just I can just tell. But you see the little roses on them. They do have their original chimneys. They also have their original wicks. So you could put oil in here and you know, light these if you wanted to, like if your power goes out, that would be kind of fun, right? To have these little vintage um, oil lamps. They're in excellent condition. They're very Aladdin shaped. Um, they're exactly the same. No, no damage on them at all. They don't say made in Japan at the bottom, but I, I they are made in Japan. I, I just know, I can just tell. A little uh, gold trim there on the top. You get the set of them. So you will get both, both of them for $14 and they are number 52. $14 number 52 for the set his and hers or hers and hers or his and his oil lamps. Lori Potter. Lori Potter. These are going to Indiana. I'm pretty sure Lori you live in Indiana. The good old state of Indiana. Grandma's over there laughing. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting. It's interesting. Okay, who likes crazy squirrels? Do you like Graham? Graham loves crazy squirrels. Oh, yeah. So I got the crazy googly-eyed squirrels. Now I had a um, a subscriber send me that lives out of the country. I don't know if you're watching right now, but she has the toothpick holder that goes with these. They're exactly like this. So there's a. There's a toothpick holder of these crazy googly-eyed squirrels that look like they're praying. They do both have their googly eyes, which, you know, you put googly eyes on anything and it makes it more fun, right? It has a plastic stopper. This plastic stopper is rolling around in there, but they're just creepy. <laughs> I just, I don't, I just love them. They just, I don't know. Look at their, their eyes, like have a star around them. They're just fun. So, you get the set, obviously, because I'm not like Goodwill. I don't price my salt and peppers shakers separately like Goodwill does, but I'll price them together. So you get both of them for $12, and they are number, they are, are you waiting? Are you on pins and needles? 30. Number 30 for the googly-eyed squirrel salt and pepper shakers for $12. Okay, we got Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. I love them. They're fun. But, well, speaking of squirrels, it, how about a squirrel vase on a tree? Cindy, your mom was trying to get those googly-eyed squirrels. I, I can't just cheat the system. I'm sorry. <laughs> love you, mom. So here's a squirrel on a tree stump. This is uh, the four, or 22 karat gold, you know, made in the USA. It is a vase. It's got a little bird on this side, I think. I don't know if you're a bird or if you're just part of the tree. But it's got a squirrel on this side with the little 22 karat gold. So fancy. Uh, there's no chips, cracks, or flaws on this anywhere. Um, it is $12 and it's number 17. Air plant vessel. Yeah. Oh, you know, I ordered my last order from Amazon of the air plants. I got some really long ones. So that would be good for that. I've been putting them in like bottles and stuff. We got Connie Cable. Connie Cable. This is cool. I like the gold and the cream together. All right. How about another brooch? I'm actually, I've got three more brooches to sell. I, I'm going to be doing a video very soon on a, the, a whole bunch of brooches that dad has had forever. Ooh. Kathy, Water Baby says this will be great for a chopstick holder. You guys come up with really good ideas. I would have never thought of that. Okay, this brooch is a vintage brooch 
but it has it, it has some stones missing. Do you have luck keeping air plants in, in the winter? I don't know. This is my first winter with the air plants, but I keep them all inside anyway, so it should be fine. Um, now, my succulents, I leave out in the cold and the rain and the sleet and the snow, and they live through it all. I don't do anything with them, and they live. I don't know how, but they do. So here, let me show you the brooch. But you see some of these rhinestones. There are, oh, there's just two. Two of the rhinestones are missing. That one's there. It's just kind of cloudy. But it has pinks. It's sort of like a, is it a carnation? I don't know. I don't like carnations at all. I just, I don't know why. I just don't. But it, there's no maker's mark on this brooch. It does have a gold bezel in there with the lobster claw um, clasp. So this is $6 and it's number 57. $6 number 57 for the vintage brooch. And sometimes people say they put them in their hair, which I think is a really is a really nice idea. Ooh. So Southern stuck Mermaid. In my hair. Southern Mermaid. Let me take my DNA off of the pen before I send it to you. My hair stuck in it. All right. Okay, let me show this. Now, this little guy, I had left behind at a shop with me video. And I had probably 10 messages from people. Are you going to go back and get that? Are you going to go back and get it? And listen, I get, I get flack sometimes for buying things that are chipped and cracked and broken. And I don't care because if I like them and I see that, I, that they can have a new life again. And I think that somebody else will love them as well. I'm going to buy that if I can get it for the right price. So this was one of those things that I actually said, well, I'm not going to get that because I think I was letting people in my head and I just didn't get it. But this little duck planter, first of all, the color alone, just I'm like a moth to a flame to this color. It's just like I see this color and I'm I'm running to it. But he has a hairline crack right there that you I can't feel the separation in the the crack right there but it is there so you can see that and he does have a chip in his little foot now if something has a flaw in it i'm gonna tell you that it has a flaw in it i'm not gonna say oh this is the most wonderful thing in the world and it has a flaw i mean i might say that because i like flaws i like broken things and i didn't buy that because i was letting people get in my head but I went back and got it because so many people wanted me to get it. And he's a cute little duck. You deserve another life again. But he's got a little chip right there. But again, <laughs> the nice thing is that the chip on his foot and the crack on his head is on the same side. So you could display him this way and you won't see those things. So there's, there's the story on the duck. But he doesn't have any cracks. Normally when you see cracks on these guys, they're right there in the plant part. But he is $10, and he's number 14. $10, number 14, for the little, oh, this color, the seafoam green duck. So Janice Stevens. Janice Stevens. You got the duck. You're going to Janice's house, little duck. She'll take good care of you. This is another odd piece now nobody told me to go out and buy go get this one again because i just got it because i i don't know why i just thought it was interesting it's the duck bird pheasant i don't know what you are duck bird pheasant um but he's the one that's like shoved full of gravel so you know most of the time figurines like the cow here you know he's hollow on the inside from the mold and someone i don't know why but someone shoved a bunch of gravel and it's like not glue well it's kind of glued in there so he's got he's got some weight to him i don't know if they wanted to use him as a paperweight maybe he just kept falling over and it annoyed the person and they decided to shove him full of rocks so he wouldn't fall over anymore i don't know your story bird but uh, suggested he has kidney stones oh kidney stones <laughs> could be yeah he's very odd looking he's a very odd looking duck with his belly full of stones now he 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 probably weighs about a pound so it's not going to be a first class shipping thing but it's not going to be like super expensive he's just got a little bit of weight to him 
Um, he's six dollars and he's number 41. Ooh, Kathy. Six dollars, number 41. Kathy had, it's a wood duck. Oh, a wood, because people said, I'm like, he's not wood. He's made out of ceramic. <laughs> but that's the breed of the duck, a wood duck. Because people told me that, and I was like, he is not made out of wood. <laughs> but maybe it's that kind of duck. But Kathy said she wonders if someone put him in a fish aquarium. Could be. Is that triple, or yeah, triple S mercantile? Triple S mercantile. mercantile. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, duck, you're going to your new home too. Okay, let's sell these. These I took down from my bathroom shelf yesterday because, well, I have a lot of different things on my bathroom shelves and I have a lot of laxative things and I thought that these were too sweet to go in the laxative thing. But they're little lovebirds. They are made in Japan. The nice thing about them is you see how slender they are. So you can, you can put them you know, on a shelf and they're not going to take up a lot of space. So that's how I had them on a bathroom shelf. But I'm kind of over you birds. You're ready to go to your new home. Uh, so they are not shoved full of gravel. They are pretty lightweight. They are $6 and they're number 54. No chips, no cracks, no flaws on them anywhere. $6, number 54 for the lovebirds. Blue flamingo. Blue flamingo. Blue birds for blue flamingo. Thought I'd tell you, you have 260 people watching. Yay, 260. Haskam, I only got 89 likes. I'm going to pull a Jeffrey. I'm going to pull a Jeffrey right now and say like, oh, let's see if we can get to 100 likes. Okay? So, like. So we can see if we can get to 100 likes. Jeffrey, you know I love you, but I'm going to do what Jeffrey does. Maybe that will get some likes. Okay, salt and pepper shakers. I do have quite a few salt and pepper shakers. So just... 102 likes. Well, let's see if we can get to 200 likes. <laughs> see if we can get to 200 likes. Oh, hi, Thrift You. Sam or Sarah or Sam and Sarah or Sam... Oh, aliens? I don't know. You know what I mean. Okay. Let's see if we can get to 200 likes. Okay, so here are the... That's exactly what Jeffrey sounds like. I love Jeffrey. He's my guy. Okay, so I don't know what the deal is with these people, but they're fun. They've got fun colors. But why is this one such a big head and that one's such a little head? Why does this one have a bunny coming out of its head and this one has no animal coming out of its head? It's a salt and pepper shaker mystery. But... Here they are, but gosh, look at those colors. Oh, hi, Nicole. Look at the colors. Now, this one here has just a little, um, like where the a glaze is missing from her nose. You see her nose right there? But they look very, they don't look very happy. And that one's paint job is very horrible because his eyeliner is way underneath his eye. I don't know what's going on, but... So they are made in Japan. This one's got its cork floating around on the inside, and that one does have its original cork, but they don't have any flaws other than that one little chip, that one little chip on, on its nose. But I just love the colors on these. I don't know. But they are $8. $8, and they are, no, I already forgot, number 29. $8, number 29. And they're made out of that, not resin, but not... Ceramic, I don't know. So penny for she. Penny for she. You get the odd face annoyed salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Ooh, let's do this. Now, this is a piece of Royal Copley. I love Royal Copley. I, oh, Shirley Fishman and his wife. Water, Kathy, I keep getting distracted by your comments because they're always so interesting. <laughs> So this is a piece of Royal Copley. Royal Copley. And then um, I this is the Little Imagination series. Um, they had, I just sold one that's a, like a half version of this size. So this is like the longer one. I don't know if this was like part of a console set or not. I liked that it has this very 1920s, 1930s, and 1980s. It's that whole 
you know, um, Art Deco look. And it has these little swirls on this side too. It doesn't have any chips, cracks, or flaws on it. This was in my Royal Copley price book. Um, or I say price book. We don't, we don't look at the prices in those books because they don't make any sense. Um, but uh, this was the Lily Imagination setting. Hi, Dorothy. So this one is... Someone wants to know if it's heavy. Um, I mean, it's a planter. It's, I would say it probably weighs maybe a pound and a half. You know, it's not too bad, but, um, that's how much it, it weighs. It's not how much it's going to cost for, you know, the packing material and all that stuff. And maybe I should bring that up too. If you buy more than one thing for me, I do combine all the shipping and I, I only charge you what the USPS charges me. This is $16.00. And it's number 13. $16, number 13. For the Royal Copley Little Little, little Imagination Planter. Another two blue flamingo. Blue flamingo. Okay, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna try to sell these next. My husband laughed at me when I bought these. Let me just say. He laughed at me and he said, Nobody wants that stuff, but I disagree because I have seen these things sell. I've seen them sell. I think people are liking them again, but let's prove him wrong, okay? They are these Sirocco um, plastic. They're plastic. And this is the uh, a cantaloupe, grapes, pear, vegetables, and fruit, and some flowers in this little water jug. And then this one has another bottle and some wheat and some eggs and bread and corn and peas and apples. So they were sold together and you know, you could hang them in their, in your kitchen. These are really coming back into popularity a little bit again, my husband, but what do men know? He was like, no, nobody was going to want those, but I like them and they do have some, you know, they do, they do sell. They are Syroco made in the USA. Here we go. I don't know the year on them. That I would say in the 70s or 80s. But you get the pair of them. Really neat colors in them. Pair of them for $14. And they are number 56. Pair of them for $14. Number 56. For the Syroco plastic kitchen wall hangings. Nesting paper. Nicole! Oh, Nicole, I so love that I get to prove him wrong and say, well, Nicole said. <laughs> and look, other people want them too. Yeah, you did well. He doesn't know what he's talking about a lot of the times. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, let's try this. I got a couple cow things. This just interested me. And I don't, listen, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I don't know if this is like, I, th I think it's vintage, but I, I, the jury is still out with me no, thinking that it's like old, like mid-century old or anything. Uh, it's this little cow creamer and it, well, you put the cream, ooh, and the dust in there and you can, you know, pour your cream and your coffee from the cow. Again, I think that this would be an adorable air plant vessel. I like to use figural things for air plants. Um, I, it doesn't have any markings on it, but to me, just the way that it feels and the thinness of the ceramic itself. Michael! Sorry, I say hi to Michael. I just saw him pop in. Um, seems like it's made in Japan, but I, I don't know. It doesn't say that it is. It's in excellent condition. The paint is still really, really nice on it. Um, that dust made me want to sneeze. There's only one part on his little boost back here that the paint's chipping off just a little bit. Uh, he is $10 and he's number 27. Oh my goodness, the dust on him. I will clean him out. I'm sorry. $10, number 27 for the mystery cow. We've got Annie out and about vintage. Annie out about vintage. She has a fun name to say too. Michael, are you on your lunch break or are you not working today? Okay, D, are you watching? Are you still watching, D? Because this reminds me of you. 
Be well, mainly because you live near Niagara Falls. But if this is another little ni uh, little air plant vessel. It's a toothpick holder, honestly, guys. Most of these things are toothpick holders, but um, I use them as other things. But this is Niagara Falls, Canada. A little souvenir piece. Oh, Michael's being naughty. Am I on the Mountain Dew again? No, I'm on the Strawberry Refresher. A venti with lots of caffeine. It has these really pretty, I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but if you don't, if you don't like Niagara Falls, you can just turn it around and just use the, see the purple uh, flowers, but it has the little gold accents down there, just three little legs. It's marked Japan. It is no chips, no chips, no cracks, no flaws. It is $6 and it's number 34. Violets, maybe. Yeah, I never thought about that. Six dollars, number thirty-four. Right, goes to Lesta. Lesta Fitzpatrick. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> not even Lesta Fitzpatrick. Hey, you know what, guys? If you buy some of these things to put air plants in, send me pictures so I can see your air plants. We'll have an air plant party. Hi, Sandy. I like the gold feet too. Michael said he had to go. So. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a little bit, Michael. Michael and I will talk later. Okay, so I have another piece of dragonware. Ooh. Also, with this, you will get the stand that goes with it. So I will include the stand that goes with it. This is a little bit smaller. I'll kind of hold up the other plate so you can see just the difference in size. So this is the one that has sold. <laughs> Show me your dead air plants. Mine are not dead. We'll see how it lasts, but... See the difference in size? So this one's a much bigger than the one I'm about to show you. And this one's more of like a brown color. But again, it has the dragon in there. Again, with like the puffy paint. Um, this one actually, no, I thought that was a tag. That's just gold. I thought, ooh, this has a tag on it. Made in Japan. And here is the little, the little baby Dimitas mug. With the dragon look at that face Woo! and his tail i like the designs i would never be able to paint something like this in a million years it would look like scribbles but could you imagine like i'm drinking out of my dragon wear now this one isn't as thin as the other one it's still great condition no chips no cracks no flaws just a little bit of dust in there um, so you will get the entire set, the, the cup, the saucer, and the stand for $14, and it's number 18. $14, number 18 for the Dragonware set. That goes to Blue Flamingo. And I just want to say, Blue Flamingo. there's this person, and I guess they're like watching behind the time, so they keep fitting on things. Oh, so if you're, if you're, you might need a refresh. Yeah, so if you see this in a little I, mean, bit, I think I saw that. Maria, you might need a refresh. Oh, bye, Sam. Crazy Doxy Lady. Yeah. Refresh. Yeah, just so if you're questioning why you're not yeah, doing anything. That might be it. Okay, I'm going to show you some salt and pepper shakers that have damage. And listen, my dad bought these. Dad bought these, and he didn't even know that there was damage on them until, until he was showing them to me. And he was like... Gosh darn it. And that happens. We all do that. We all see something that we like and then we'll get it home and we'll, we'll notice that it has something that we didn't see. This has a pretty notice. Well, it's kind of noticeable, but kind of not. But they're the cutest little dog salt and pepper shakers playing a little. It looks like they're playing a pineapple, but they're playing a guitar. Now, this little dog has a broken foot. So she does have a broken foot and um, this one's in great condition. So if you like dogs or if they look like your dog, you know, that's kind of the, I buy, I'm a very emotional buyer when I buy things that remind me of certain things, but it does happen. They do. It, it's a tragedy too, because they boot, they both have their stoppers. I believe that these were made in Japan, but you know, the price will reflect they're $6 and they are number 33. Six dollars, number 33. This one does have a broken foot. So someone had made a comment too that they like to stick these in 
like a plant, you know, just to add like a little accent to a plant. So you could do that with broken things that you find too and give them a new life again. But $6, number 33 for the little dogs. Okay. Yeah, it happens. We all do it. It, 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 it just happens. But I told them that I'd still go ahead and try to sell them. And if they don't sell, then we'll all repurpose them into something. I'll put them in a plant. Okay. I'm going to put them in his plants upstairs so he looks at them. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Next, I have this little amber vase. It is hand-blown. Um, th Dad bought this as, as well. And it doesn't have any doesn't have any flaws to it. I like the swirly design in it. Yeah, I think so too. It is good juju to buy, if, to, to repurpose something if you, even if you buy it and you notice that it's broken. Uh, Dad did buy this. Uh, it's an excellent condition. It is $8 for this little bud vase. And it is number 55. $8, number 55 for the uh, amber glass bud vase. Okay, that goes to Kelly B. Kelly B. Someone was asking yeah. the dog. The dogs were number 33. These little guys were number 33 with the broken foot. Okay, so Karen Radford. Radford oh, Karen Radford. I should have dad, uh, I don't know. Sign, a, sign something, say, I bought these broken dogs. Thank you for buying them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Broken figurines. And a plant. Yeah. I think that it's a good idea. I've done it myself. Um, I actually, I bought, I think it was in a video, a little cat holding a, uh, it looks like a little teapot, and it's all broken, but I liked it. So I'm going to put it in a, in a plant. So it can be peeking out. Okay, so next, Dad bought this these items too. Um, it is Rudware. And he cleaned them up, shined them up. It's in excellent condition. Has the moriage, which the moriage is, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, it's raised, like the gold and some of the orange and blue dots there are raised. It has the lid to it. It's in excellent condition. I'm going to show you all the pieces. It's Mark Japan. Even the lid itself has no has no flaws on it as well. So you will get the teapot and the cream and sugar. You get all all pieces in this offering. Um, really, really pretty. Excellent condition. I think they're all three Mark Japan. No, just the teapot is, but they are redware. And even the, the creamer and the sugar lids are in great condition as well. This one's a little wonky, just the way that it's, the pottery was made. As you can see there. And he cleaned them up so nice. Did I not put, I didn't put a tag on here, but I think I wrote down the price. Let's see what number is it, you know? It might be at the very, very top of... Oh, yeah, uh, $18. Okay, so you get the entire set that I didn't write down the number for, for $18. It's number one. And it's number one. $18, number one, for the entire set of uh, Redware tea set. Yeah, that goes to Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. Ooh, that's pretty. I never even noticed that, that swirl there. Okay, Jane, those are coming to you. I'll wrap them up nicely so they'll arrive safe and sound. Okay, I'm gonna show you these pillowcases that crack me up. I, d I took them home and washed them, so they are freshly laundered. <laughs> okay, so they're just a white linen tablecloth that someone has like stencil painted on one side of each of them, and you'll get both of them in this but it has this little mouse here and you can see it says tonight that the little mouse wrote on the end of the pillowcase and then on this one the probably the wife mouse let's say the wife mouse wrote okay it is the wife mouse 
Nope. <laughs> nope. So, just white tape. I don't know. I just thought that they were hilarious. So, I bought them. See, she is like, nope. So, they're just quirky and fun, and I like that kind of thing. So, you get the set of them for $12, and they're number 46. So, tonight, says the house, and the, no, nope, on the other side. I don't know. This is the kind of thing that I like to buy, just because it's funny. And if nobody buys them, I'm going to put them on my bed. <laughs> it got bought. So. Oh, it got bought. Thrifted in a pear tree. Oh, June, <laughs> thrifted in a pear tree. June, that's hilarious. Are you going to put these on your bed, June? I thought I I like this kind of thing. I just think that it's it's just funny. It's just funny. Okay. How about we do Okay, so who was it that was selling one of Oh, Thrift You. Thrift You was selling one of these in their sale. When was that? The other night. I can't remember. Um they were selling one of these and I said, "Oh, I have one of them. I'm going to have one of those in my sale." So here is is this little ducky duck and it has, doesn't have any any flaws on it randy if you're in still watching i don't know if it's american bisque or if it's shawnee honestly i it was on my list of things to try to research and i just didn't so cute little little duck here no no flaws on it anywhere it just has a little bit where it was used on the inside really nice little pastel planters on here and it is 16 dollars and it's number 20 for the cute little duck planter. $16, number 20. I think that goes to Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. Oh, I'm at a, oh, I bought, I bought that from, oh, Shawnee. Thin Shawnee. Yeah, it's thin. That's why I was, I always, I always think of Shawnee as being chonky. And this wasn't very chonky. So, Pottery just boggles my mind somewhat. I love it, but golly, it's so familiar and so many, it's so similar in so many different ways. <laughs> the duck looks like it's gotten to the devil's lettuce. <laughs> Laura, have you been hanging out with my duck? Okay. All right. Let's do another air plant vessel. This one's, it's not an animal, but I like these taller ones because it adds height. So if you have a lot of squatty little pots, it's good to kind of break up that variation a little bit and get a tall one. So this has just a small little opening there, but you know, you don't need a lot of opening for an air plant. You just kind of set it in and it, and it goes. So I got this thinking that I would use it, but then once I got it home, I thought I have too many of these tall ones. So I need to, I, I like the variation. Someone was asking, how do you bid? Um, you just, I'm going to give the item a number and the first person that shows up typing in that number on our end will be the winner. And you just send me an email and every, my email's in the description. So you, you can just go back and look at it later. Oh, Graham just typed it it's in there. The number. You're good. You're a good worker. Thank you. It's the number, not the price. So. Oh, the it. number. Did I say the price? No, I'm just because. It, oh, I yeah. Think it would get confusing. This is Mark Japan on the bottom. So I just like the different variations in size. So this is $4 and it's number 32. $4, number 32. And I, it's just, the, it's a tall. I need to take a picture. I haven't done that. I talk about these air plants all the time and I need to show you what I'm talking about instead of just trying to describe them. It's uh, Lori Potter. Lori Potter. I always say, Lori Potter, like Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Every time I see your name, Lori, I always say with it, Lori Potter, Harry Potter. Okay. It's from the same person that used to work. I don't know if you're talking to me or not, June. I, I get in trouble. Like if Emma was here, she'd be yelling at me not to get into the con into the mm -hmm. chat. Graham's not, Graham eventually will start yelling at me. Trust me, because I will, he'll have enough of me. Okay. Offer up time. You ready, Graham? We're going to do an offer up, which means sure. it's, <laughs> I will. I promise I'll say stop this. 
Yeah. He's going to say stop this time. So I'm going to show you an item. And the item I'm going to show you are these. Are these. And they do glow. I can't find my black light. But they do glow. And they're marvelous. They're marvelous. These are the Hazel Atlas. The Diamond Arches, I believe, is the name of them. Um, they, these are the, like the snack bowls. There was a larger bowl that came out in this line. They are marked Hazel Atlas right there. They are the, um, what did I say? The diamond arches. Looks like a little flower when they're inside. They are in excellent condition. There aren't any, any, uh, chips, flaws, none of that on these. They're in excellent condition. So I'm going to start these at a price. And then, um, once I say start, then you will start your offerings and then we will say stop. And then it's the, the highest bidder, the highest offerer um, before stop will win. And there are six of them. So you will get all six of these in this offering. I'm going to start them at $10 for all six of them. You'll get all six. $10, the Hazel Atlas Diamond Arches Pattern Snack Bowls. Are you ready, Graham? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lala's Venture is at 12 for the Hazel Atlas snack bowls. They do glow. Gosh darn it, it makes me mad that I don't have my light because they're fun. Oh, Little Vintage Me is at 20. Someone said 32, but I don't know if they meant to. Um, 32. Is that correct? Who was that? Oh, Cheryl. Cheryl Magison was at $32. Hopefully she's, that's what she meant. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. We're at $32. Hopefully. <laughs> if yes. not, then we'll have to do Someone more. Else at 32, okay, so. $32. Maria. For the set of six. We're at 35. We've got 15 seconds. 35. Thir 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. No. 10 seconds. Still at 35. I have Sheila at Putman at $35. We've got 36. Thirty-six, Annette Miller. And we're done. Okay. Did you type in stop? Yep. Okay. Not at this time. <laughs> Good job, Graham. Annette Miller, you got these at thirty-six dollars. Congratulations, they're beautiful. Beautiful. She was ready. She was ready. Take she was more. ready. All right. Let's do up uh, cows. I love these. I I like these because the painting is so horrible on them. Um, they are these cows, and I said I was going to sell them as a set, boop, 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 because I think that they go, they belong together. They're both marked Japan. Oops. Oh, you have the large one to go with it. Oh, awesome. They're going to be reunited, and it feels so good. So I like these because look at how horribly they're painted. And I know, like, Misty, why are you talking about how horribly they're painted? That's no way to sell something. But with these, they're all kind of horribly painted. I just... I just like them. Look at that. Look at the faces. Now the gold is missing a little bit on their horns, but they're look at their little look at their little hooves just hanging out there. They're sitting like a human just on their back legs. I don't understand. Um the parrot planter will be on Instagram. I am having a sale after the sale on Instagram. And so I have a ro I have a Royal Copley parrot planter that's going to be on Instagram. It's going to be on Instagram. So they got their like little ribs, but look at their little hooves just hanging out there. These actually look really cute sitting in a planter, you know, as well. Um, but you get both of them. You get the both of them for $8 and they're number 26. Oh, you're still lagging. I'm working at it, so. Well, Maria, maybe just completely go out and come back in again. So $8, number 26 for the set of cows. Oh, I gotta itch my nose real quick. Triple S. Triple S. They are not salt and pepper shakers, Michelle. They're just, they're just little, um, just little figures. All right, I have a brooch. Dad bought this brooch, but he knows that I'm looking for animal brooches. So this one came on its little um, card. And look at its little color. 
that dangles. It's got little dangles on its collar. Little kitty cat. It's in excellent condition. It's never been used. It's on its little card still. Um, it is $8 and it's number 35. It's the gold standard. $8, number 35. It is a fancy kitty. It's Goomba's girlfriend. <laughs> Cindy and Graham, they have a cat named Goomba. It's Goomba's girlfriend. Goomba wouldn't have a girlfriend. Goomba would have no time. So, Goomba's Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. All, All right. right. Okay, now I, I have the twin of this guy. I kept him. I'm selling one and I'm keeping one, but I mean, come on. How could I not keep him? The fancy top, top hat dog that I could put an air plant in. He's made in Japan. Oh, he got a piece of tape on the bottom of you, dog. He's made in Japan. But look at him. He's so cute. Again, he is, he's got his little rose right here. He's ready to go on a date. He's ready to go on a date. He's in great condition. He doesn't have any chips or flaws on him. He's just a little, he's just a little vase, but I just think that he's fun. And I like that he's tall. Because again, that whole variation, because a lot of times you'll see squatty things that you can put your air plants in. He is uh, $10 and he's number 28 with a fancy. Now look, if someone, someone would be fired from the, the painting factory, because look at that. That's not good paint job. That's why I like these so much. That one goes to Connie Cable. Connie Cable. Oh, Barb. Barb, but look at, look at how horrible that is. That's like a chop, well... So it's like a child painted it, but a child probably did paint it. That's the sad, that's the sad part of the whole thing. That's, that's the heartbreaking part of this whole thing. All right, let's do these shakers. Um, these are the U.S. Capitol and the Washington Monument shakers. Little souvenir pieces from Washington, D.C. With the gold, they're in excellent condition. Uh, they have the little rubber stoppers in them. One side of the Capitol says Washington, D.C., and the other side says U.S. Capitol, um, and then this one just says Washington Monument. So they're in great condition, and they are, how much are you? $8, and they're number 37. $8, number 37 for the uh, Washington, D.C. souvenir Salt and pepper shakers. That goes to Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater. Yes, air plants on Amazon. I, you can get them for under twelve dollars for like four or five of them, and I'm waiting on some to bloom because apparently Jeffrey has some that bloom and mine don't bloom. Maybe I don't know. I, I mine aren't blooming. Mine are mine don't look like they've even grown any, but they're alive. They're like <gasps> Alex. Alex is here. I miss you. Alex and I haven't talked for a while. She's got a lot going on. She's moving. She's got a lot of exciting things happening. So I'm giving her some time to get all of her stuff done. Get 150 likes. Whoa, we get 200 likes. <laughs> you got 300 people watching. 300 people watching. Come on. <laughs> we need to get 200 likes. Says Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> How about some, oh, speaking of Jeffrey, how about we do some Ivy, some Royal Copley Ivy. Royal Copley Ivy. It is Royal Copley Ivy. It's a vase. It just has the Ivy on one side and it's plain on the other. It's in excellent condition. No flaws. I'm trying, I'm doing that because I don't want you to see the tag because people get sneaky. There's no chips on it anywhere. You can see there. It's a beautiful piece. It does have some crazing, which I like. I'll just kind of zoom in on there so you can see the crazing. So a very pretty vase made by Royal Copley. It is $16 and it's number 12. Yes, Michelle did send me some fertilizer and I do use it, Michelle, and it works just fine. Um, I just, once I um, soak them in water for 25 minutes, I just spray the fertilizer on them and put them back in their little spot. Blue Flamingo got that one. Blue Flamingo. I like the Royal Copley when it looks like it's been airbrushed. I just think that that's, that's, that's a nice touch. Okay. Let's try. Let's just do this. I keep reaching for other things. So I should just pull the things that are right in front of me. Now, I was going to keep this, but I decided to sell it. 
it's a little toothpick holder. It's a little pottery. Let's say it's a chicken. Let's say it's a chicken. Um, I decided not to keep it because I'm honestly running out of space. And you will see a haul video this week. I got a new shelves for my air plants. But they're here, still here because I haven't filmed that video yet. So stay tuned for that. But this little pottery chicken, it's in excellent condition. It's a toothpick holder. You can use it for a toothpick holder. if You don't want to use it for an air plant. But it is $6 and it's number 38. It's kind of a gold yellow collar you can see there no damage on it six dollars number 38. so that goes to lesta lesta fitzpatrick she's got a fun name to say all right let's do these these i've had lots of questions about too they are lovely they're redware uh redware salt and pepper shaker roosters and they've got you can see that luster glaze on there isn't it pretty and it has they do have their original corks in them they are Mar they are japan but you can't really see it's kind of that paint has faded off but they are really pretty lustery really fun salt and pepper shaker set they are 15 dollars for the set and they are number 25. $15 for the set, number 25. That goes to Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. Cool stuff from the dollar bins at Goodwill? No. <laughs> no, it, it, the Goodwill doesn't have dollar bins. Trust me. I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't think they do have those. They don't have dollar bins at the Goodwill. Not, not even, I don't even know. Well, yeah, I guess you can get some things for a dollar at the Goodwill Outlet. But I haven't been to the Goodwill Outlet since um, Valentine's Day. Pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic, right. Hi, Shirley. Shirley Pearl is here. Everyone's going to say hi to Shirley. Shirley is a legend in her own time. And so is her internet connection, right? Okay, so this was in a video, and a lot of people liked him, and he is so cute, and he... He caused, he caused something to break that I had. But it's this cute little honey bear it, who is a honey pot. And you see he's got his little, I don't know what these are called. I don't know what the technical name for these honey spoons are. But it, he's got that. He doesn't have any damage, even though he broke a piece of lusterware of mine because his head fell off and fell on it. But he didn't get damaged. He does have a little bit of paint loss on his nose because the nose is or the yeah. paint Hold on. Is, He's struggling. Okay. is it good uh, you, were, you were behind just a little bit but i think i think you're okay now are we okay now honey dipper yeah that's probably what it's called is that the technical name for or is that just what we're calling it does it even have a technical name I don't even know if it has. Are there any chefs? Chefs? There's chefs out there. Chefs, chefs. out there. Okay, so the cute little honey bear. He does, it, the the black is cold painted on there, so it is scratched off a little bit. Um, he's made in Taiwan. I don't know what this B. Let's just say it stands for bear. I'm sure it's a maker of some sort. I didn't look it up, but he's so cute. I think. But he is fifteen dollars, or she. I don't know if you're a boy or if you're a girl. I don't know. $15 and he or she are number or is number three. Number three for the troublemaking honey bear that broke my luster. Oh, that rhymes. The troublemaking honey bear that broke my luster wear. That goes to good juju and then. Good juju vintage. vintage. Is that vintage? No. Yeah. No, I, good I, juju I, it vintage. Is, it is. Scrumpled up. It's scrumpled up. Scratched. Good juju vintage. Okay. Next I have, oh, I bought her for me, but I decided not to keep her. But, oh, man, she's so cute. She is this cute little Joseph's. I think you're, jo yeah, Joseph's original. Uh, she's eating her porridge. And look at the little dog down here wanting her to drop some. I like the way, the, the position of her little feet. And 
how she has a recipe down here. Um, there, oh, she's got her original Joseph's original sticker there. Um, I don't think it's marked Japan on the bottom, but she's got a little heart, her heart lippies. There is an issue with her. The tip of her spoon is broken off. And I knew that when, I don't know if I knew that when I bought you. One of them I had, I knew it was damaged when I bought her, but I liked it so much that I bought it anyway. But I think that she's adorable. Very cute. She is $6 because she does have that part broken. And she's number 15. I think that she's sweet. $6, number 15 for the Joseph's original um, little girl eating her porridge. Teasing her. Sheila Putman. Sheila Putman. Yes. Um, Alex's mom is selling some Shirley shirts. And I'm hoping that I have mine before my next sale. Because I'm going to wear it. Shirley, I got you. I'm getting a shirt in your honor. I just think it's fun. Okay. I have an apron here. Now, this apron has some tea staining or coffee stains on it. It's kind of one of those almost sheer aprons, but not quite. Um, I love the rickrack that's around the bottom of it. I like the soft blue color. Now, I have not taken a steamer to this, and I did wash it, but it's gotten a little wrinkled. But there's the little pocket. It does have a little stain on it right there as well. Cute little apron. Um, it is $6. I normally sell my aprons for $12, but since this one has some stains on it, I'm selling it for $6, and it's number 42. Number 42, $6. With the apron. Blue apron. Okay, let's do her. Now, Shirley likes these things, so y'all might want to be ready because Shirley likes these. Now, this is a really neat Raggedy Ann doll. Don't be scared. This is not Annabelle. Okay. Um, she has she has some issues, but she's been played with. Let's just say that. I love that she had her little button in the back was broken. So someone at some point in time, which this pin alone might be something in itself, but it's a little kitty cat, clay kitty cat pin with a little reticulated tail and little jeweled eyes. Yeah, you're cute. But someone had pinned her little dress together. She's supposed to be a music box, but she does not work. She's been overwhelmed. Um, so you can see here, she's supposed to play music. It says that it's guaranteed music box, but I'm, I guarantee you it doesn't work. There's my guarantee. Uh, she does have, have her, her uh, heart up there. I'll oh, put her bloomers back on. The link is on. Okay, the link to uh, Tenderfoot Art is Alex's mom. I know I said I'm giving it away again, but there's a link to um, the Shirley shirt, the Shirley shirt. Okay, so here is the cute little Raggedy Ann. Now, she has a little tear. She's been played with. She's been played with. Um, so she's got a little bit of condition issues, but she still looks so stinking cute in a display. She is $12, and she's number 50. $12, number 50 for the well-loved Raggedy Ann. I'm trying to see if she has a... Mm -hmm. I didn't even look to see if she had a maker's mark. What, uh, Shirley? Yeah. Shirley Pearl. Pearl. I told you Shirley likes these Raggedy Ann and Andy's. She's so cute, but she does not She does not work. She dances, but she doesn't play music. All right. Next, I've got a little piano baby. A sad and sullen looking piano baby. I don't know why they make these children to look so sad, but the, they're, there they are. Um, I think that this child is sad that the, the music box doesn't work in Raggedy Ann. He's got his little, maybe he hurt his foot. He's got his little foot up there, but look at his little face. This is like of a bisque, which I don't like the way that it feels, but it, it, that's bisque for you. Now, on the back, I didn't look this up. So, you could be getting a great deal on this. And, I, and that's just my own ignorance 
for not taking the time to do that. But on the back, it is numbered five or four five six three EI. Four five six three EI. No other markings on it at all, other than that. No damage on it at all, but it's this cute little piano baby. It is six dollars and it's number 10. Six dollars, number 10 for the little piano baby. And that that I have its tag wrapped around its neck is a little disturbing, but yeah, it's, uh, Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater. They are stuck inside a piano and they would rather be outside playing. Probably. It's the corona. <laughs> That's isn't that everybody's expression for the corona? It's fine. Yeah. All right. Strawberries. Who likes strawberries? 166 likes. Well, I want to get 200 likes, guys. Let's see if we can get 200 <laughs> likes. Okay, so I got some strawberry shakers. Now, the unfortunate thing about this these shakers is they have no stoppers. You can buy replacement stoppers, I think from Amazon, uh, but here they are. It's got a piece of hair stuck to it. Here they are. There are no damage on them anywhere except for the stoppers are missing, but cute little, these are big strawberries too. These are some big strawberries. They are $8 and they are number nine. $8, number nine for the strawberry shakers. Okay, Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater. Who likes? Sorry, Graham Cracker. I didn't see Sherry Crater in your contest. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Siri. Siri, Siri was confused. I don't know why Siri calls me Graham Cracker. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who likes men? <laughs> Who likes them? man dreaming of a woman. He's a decanter. He's missing his hat and he's got a chip on his head because he, maybe he was married and he's thinking about this other saucy lady and his wife pulled off his hat yeah, and hit him. Buffering. 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 Let me know when I'm back. All right. You're, it's, it's really thinking about your life choices right now. It's thinking about my life choices right now. <laughs> Are we back yet? I know. It's not just me. Other people are saying the buffering too. Yeah, you're just stuck in this one. In the wheel of death? You're just, not even that. It won't even come up. You're just stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> huh? I, I think you're good. Am I back? I just refreshed and I meant to help people back. You're, you're back, but you're blurry. Yep. I hear you. Really blurry. Fine here. You're, you're good now. Okay. It's looking better. I wish that there was gin in this man <laughs> and I would drink all the gin out of his body. He is a hollow body. He has no heart or soul. But he's so cool looking. So, here is the man. And he is dreaming of Miss Saucy Pants up here. Brrr, saucy. So, he had, he's a gin decanter made by Shafford in Japan. I bought him from George. George thought he was cool too. He, I mean, he's missing. He's supposed to have a little stopper that's like the top of his hat. And he has the, some damage up there. But I think that he looks like Gomez from um, the Adams Family. Don't you think? Oh, and he is not dreaming of Morticia. So maybe Morticia took his hat and clocked him over the head. And that's how he got that little... <gasps> Lori! That's an amazing idea. I didn't even think about it. You can put an air plant in his and he'll have an air plant head. That is hilarious. I love his just expression on his face. I like that he's all glossy, that he's not bisque and scratchy feeling. But look, that, his expression is everything. And you guys know that I like things with faces and their expressions. So I see something with a face and I'm, I'm drawn to it. 
So I like the idea of the air plant. That's pretty amazing. Okay, mister, are you ready to maybe go to your new home? Um, he is $12. How could I not think of that? I, listen, I don't think of a lot of things. <laughs> things come to me late sometimes. He's $12 and he's number 21. $12, number 21 for the bad, bad man. Oh, Lori! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lori, you're going to have to send me a picture if you put an airplane in his head. That's an amazing idea. I would also love to see that. That is such a good idea. I love that. All right, I have a pot. Just a matte, almost like a matte McCoy. It's just USA Pottery. Number four, ten. Oop. It's kind of, a, it's just a matte planter. Uh, I had this on my porch and I decided I didn't need it. So I drug it inside. I cleaned the plant out of it and I'm bringing it to sell. It doesn't have any, any flaws on it in any way. I like, I just, I love the feel of a matte, of a matte pottery piece. And this one's even more of a texture joy because of the ribbing around it. It's just weird. I just like, I like things like this. I just like to touch it and feel it. Because I'm weird. But this is $14 and it's number 22. There's no flaws on anywhere. Yeah, Lori, you'll have to send a pic. Okay, so this is a, I don't know how much you saw, but I see somebody wants it. Number 23. No, no, this is 22. 22 for the USA Pottery flower pot. Someone said 23. Yeah, but that's not the number. It's 22. All right, so then it goes to Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. I'm sorry, Amanda. I have to, you know, stick with the same number. Otherwise, it'll cause a revolt. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was. <laughs> there's 282 people watching. I thought that was how many thumbs up. So I was going to go, <gasps> 284 thumbs up. Uh, not yet. Okay. All right, let's do another offer up. And this is pay attention and get your little fingers ready. Because I've got this fairy lamp right here. It's a satin glass. It's not, I don't know that it's Fenton. It is not marked Fenton, so I do not know. Uh, it, it has the, these transfer roses on it. There's four, no, three. And it's a very odd shape. This is one that Dad had picked up. Um, so it's, it's an unusual shape for a fairy lamp, but it's very it doesn't have any damage. It's got a, like a hobnail base. No flaws on it anywhere. I mean, oh! You're buffering on and off. Like, you're, you're good right now, but the 12, we, we can try and maybe get an extra time or something. But, uh, Gosh darn you buffering. It's, it's a struggle bus. Should I? We can give them like extra time or just do it later or something maybe. Should. I mean, if you want to risk it. Let's, let's try it. Let's try. Is it still buffering right now at this very second? Uh, yeah. Gosh You're darn right. you, it, buffering. It stops and then goes and stops and goes. Buffering. I hate you, buffering. Is it still doing it? You're, you're doing a little better. You're just kind of pixelated. Oh. <sighs> Go outside and do a sidewalk sale. <laughs> There's nobody walking outside. Okay, let's. Okay, you're, you're doing better. Am I doing better? It's... Should I do? Let me <laughs> let me put a push the pause button on it and let me do one more thing and we'll give it a time buffering to be good. Buff sell Henry. Let's sell Henry and then we'll go back to the fairy lamp. We'll give it a second. Graham is a good problem solver. Thank you. Okay, so I've got Henry. I love Henry. Henry was probably a carnival prize from the 80s. You know, back in like the 30s, 40s, 50s, and they had like really cool like chalkware carnival prizes. 
in the 80s, this is what we got. But this is even better than what they get now. This is um, soft. Now, I have Henrietta. That, Henrietta was my childhood stuffed animal. And I still have Henrietta. This is Henry. And I love that some child wrote their initials on Henry. On his little patch. Look at his little tail. He's got, I think he's supposed to be a beagle. But I like, like his, his nose is kind of flat. So a child really loved him. He's a good size though, too. He's a really pretty good size. And I love his little belly button. You can't cuddle chalkware. That's true. But I love his little, <laughs> I love his little belly button right there. But he's so cute. Um, again, I think that these things are just, they're making a, a little bit of a comeback because people that are my age are like, oh yeah, I had that back in the 80s when I was a child. But I, I have my Henry, Henrietta. This is Henry. Uh, but this is $10. And he's pretty lightweight, even though he's big. He's $10 and he's number four. $10, number four, for Henry. Ooh, who has a wobbly neck? Goes to Cindy Curtis. <gasps> really? Graham, are you gonna are you gonna cuddle with Henry? <laughs> Please, Graham. <laughs> oh, so actually, this will go home with Graham today. Aren't you excited, Graham? Yeah. Henry. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Gunther will love Henry. Oh, jeez. All right, so let's try. Are we okay? Should yeah. I try the? Okay. Let's try the fairy lamp. So, here is the fairy lamp. It's a satin glass. Again, I like the feel of satin glass too, but it's it's very, very cute. Very sweet, like I said. No chips or cracks on it at all. It has the three transfer flowers. Yeah, Cindy can, can cuddle with Henry while she recovers. And Henry's very clean. If I'm getting intense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying smack the like button. Smack, smack the like. 179. We gotta get to two. We gotta get to 200. <laughs> okay. So the fairy lamp. Let you know we're going to do an offer up, so I'm going to start it. And then you will just increase your offer within a minute's time. And when it's up, then the highest bid, highest offer above the stop will win. Okay? Yep. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start it at $10 for the satin glass fairy lamp and start. We've got $10 for the hobnail satin glass fairy lamp. It's very unusual. Uh, highest is 12 Twelve dollars so far. Fifteen for Jane. Twenty. Twenty dollars. Highest is twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. I feel weird. I'm like, and then here it is. It feels so to good to feel it. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Cheryl Hoskins is bidding, offering, forty. 20 seconds. 20 seconds left. Cheryl Hoskins right now is in the lead at 40. I thought Dak was coming in. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Ooh. And we're done. Okay. Time's up. So $40 to Cheryl Hoskins. $40 to Cheryl Hoskins. It's very pretty. I'll make sure it's wrapped very, very well. And I'll write that on there. I didn't forget to write the price on there, Graham. Yay, you did it. I did it. I'm so proud of you. Yay. <laughs> okay, I have a sewing machine drawer. Um, I The funny thing is, is I used this sewing machine drawer for the five years that I had my shop open to hold um, blank tags. So Cindy's watching and Cindy's like, I know that drawer. Cause that's where we had all the tags, but I don't need it anymore. And a lot of people will use these in their decor. This is nice that it has the original hardware on it. Um, it's in excellent condition. So people will put these, you can put it like this and put things on top of it. So um, you have, oh, well, Michelle has one of these for her sale. Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's having a sale at one o'clock tomorrow on her YouTube channel. 
So if you if you want this and you don't get it, then Michelle will have one tomorrow. But this is fifteen dollars, and it's number twenty three. Fifteen dollars, number twenty three for the sewing machine drawer. Did I say box? It's sewing machine drawer. It goes to Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. I don't even know what to say. Huh? I don't even know. Oh, I think I said sewing box, but sewing drawer. I think I, I think you said drawer. Did I say drawer? Well, you never know. You never know what I say. Okay. It's okay. A strawberry. A strawberry sugar bowl. Sugar dish, I think. I don't know. It doesn't have... It's milk glass. It doesn't have, like, the little divot that you would put that you would keep the spoon in. So if you use it for a sugar dish, you can't keep your spoon inside of it or the lid will not shut. This one, I do have another one that's gonna be offered another week. This one has a what I think is a repair up on the stem. Can you see that up there? So the price is reflective of that. Um, it does have a couple little spots where the, the paints, um, jam pot, yes. So I was like, well, this isn't a sugar bowl because you can't keep the spoon in it. Jam pot for strawberry jam. Oh my gosh, it's all making sense now for <laughs> strawberry jam. You could put cotton balls in it. You could put cheese in it too. That's my little it. You put plants in it. You could put whatever. You could put whatever you want in it. But it's um, the repair on it is a very good repair. It's a nice and solid repair. Um, and you really, you can't even notice that it's there unless you're like really looking up. I don't know if it is Hazel Atlas because it isn't marked. I don't know if Hazel Atlas always marked their their jam jars, but this one is not marked. I have seen some that are marked, but this one is not. It is $8 and it's number 11. $8, number 11 for the strawberry jam jar. And that goes to Lesta. Lesta Fitzpatrick. I love saying her name. All right, okay, I'm gonna move this because I'm not selling it. I've gotten a lot of questions about this black amethyst cake stand, but it's mine. I move it out of the way. Sorry, but it's mine. Yeah. Yeah, I just got that. I just used it for some height. Okay, I have a couple games here. These were in my video. I have Winner Spinner. Look at the graphics on here. Look at his creepy little face. I'm winning. I'm the Winner Spinner. Uh, no, the jewelry box will be an Instagram. My Instagram live sale will be the jewelry box. This, the box is in excellent condition. The uh, game board is in excellent condition. I don't, I, I honestly don't know that it's ever been played. It has all of the instructions on it. And it has all of the original little wooden balls in it. The little, that you would use to play it. There's six of each color. They're all, they're all included. Uh, it's not very often that you find the box itself is still in pristine condition. I, this was made by Whitman. I love Whitman items. I love Whitman puzzles. I mean, there is a little bit of damage or wear, I guess, shelf wear to the box, but it, really it's in really good condition. That graphic is a lot of fun. This is $15. It's from the 1950s. Uh, and it is, I didn't even put a number. Is it even on my list? I didn't put a number on it. Uh, 59. It's number 59. $14. Oh, I said 15. It's $14. Good gravy, Misty. $14. Number 59 for the winter spinner. It's it's very, very lightweight, but it is, you know, it's a little bit bigger to ship it. And it goes to Diane Caroline. Diane Caroline. I have another Whitman item, and that is the four big and easy Mother Goose puzzles. Um, I, I don't think that this has ever been uh, played with or used at all either. The box is in excellent condition. Uh, it has a set of four of these big chunky puzzles. They're four, five, five pieces to each puzzle, but they're all nursery rhymes. So you say, well, I, this was in my video, but you say... Little Boy Blue can blow your horn, and it's just, you know, whatever comes next in that nursery rhyme. So there are four puzzles in here. A Little Miss Muffet, Humpty Dumpty, Little Boy Blue, and Mary, How Does Your Garden Grow? So you would get this box 
uh, dated 1966 by Whitman Toys. It is $14. See, I have this as number 59. I think that might have bamboozled you, actually, because I, I read the Whitman puzzles. Yeah. But then I, I see now number five is Winter Spinner. Well, we'll, 15. we'll uh, did someone so, already say number? Okay. We'll make this 61. So this is number 61 for the Whitman uh, puzzle. Puzzles. I'm having a great time. It's been a great day at the sale today. <laughs> There's I'm not been sorry. a mess up at all. Okay. I have Lori Wortley for number 61. Right. Why did I say 61? Oh, because I, do I have 60 days? You just, yeah. Do I already have, do, is 61 the right number? We can work with it. It's fine. Okay. You're good. Lori Wortley, these are yours. <laughs> for $14. Good gravy. I'm out of my, uh, it's normal okay. sleep. you deserve it. <laughs> no, Graham, I deserve you. You're a wonderful help. Emma's better. <laughs> I have a, no, you, she's not any better. She's just used to it. This is your first day. I have a green uranium glass. This does glow. I just don't have my black light with me because I'm so prepared today. It's just uncanny. Um, I am not doing this as an offer up. I am doing this as a straight up price because as I was noticing yesterday or as I was setting it up, I, I don't know if this is a, a manufacturer's flaw or if it is a, a damaged piece. It's not sharp, which is what makes me, what leads me to think that it is a manufacturing flaw because it's very smooth and not, um, it doesn't feel like it's been broken so it, and it's on the back so here's the front of the plate and again i didn't i don't know the pattern of this someone actually someone told me in the comments and i can't remember what it was but it was in my video yesterday but it's it has a little ding on the back it's not a chip and right where it is there's like a swirl so i don't know if it's a manufacturing flaw or what but it does glow it is this really pretty piece of uranium glass it is not marked with any maker's mark on it at all. Um, but it is $18 and it is number 16. $18 number 16 for the uranium glass cake plate. $18 number 16. So Amy Crawford. Amy Crawford. That's on there real good. Okay. I have another strawberry piece. Let me take the tag off. This is a shutter, but I love that it, someone had hand painted these strawberries on it. And the person that hand painted them was Marilyn in 1979. And it has a hanger. The hanger is missing a nail, but it has a hanger on the back. So you can hang this up in your kitchen. You can actually... You really could hang it up either way if you wanted it long ways. But this does open. Someone else had mentioned that you could use this to hang like pot holders or something from in your kitchen. That would be a good idea. Or vintage handkerchiefs if you have that collection. It's very lightweight, but it is, you know, it's it's long. So it's, you know, it's going to take the space in the box. But this is $12 and it is number 11. $12. Number 11 for the hand-painted strawberry um, shutter decor piece. I should mention you're nine likes away from 200. What? Nine likes away. Oh, bye. Bye, Michelle. Come on. You know, you get to 200. That made me so happy. <laughs> All right. So the shutter. Okay. What did I say? $12 number 11. Okay, now I, I had I have this and someone was interested and they said they couldn't watch it till later. So I said I would keep it to as one of the lap one of the last things. I still have one, two, three, three more things. So I, I oh I'm at one hundred and ninety nine. You just got two hundred. Oh yay! One hundred and three. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah. All right, so thank you guys for for liking. So I have this little ballerina wall pockets it's a little planter so you could put you know your air plants or 
you know, flowers or whatever you'd like to. It has this, you know, like a Dresden lace. It's not Dresden lace, but it's it has that look to it. See where it's kind of three-dimensional? I love the gold accents on it and the little rosettes. She has a very sweet little annoyed face. Um, it, it isn't, well, it had a sticker on it at one time. And I can't even really tell from the shape. Sometimes I can tell by the shape of the sticker, but that one's puzzling me. It is made in Japan, but this little wall pocket is $12 and it's number 39. No damage on it anywhere. $12, number 39. You could hang it on the wall or it's flat enough on the bottom where you could, you know, set it up Maybe on display. Mama J. Mama J. Ooh, 208. Oh, actually, I actually have four things, but I didn't see this little guy. I love this. I love this. This is a cool brooch. It is a, ma I think this is a mallard duck. And he's got a jeweled eye. And he's in flight. He's flying around. I liked his, I like his little feet just hanging down there. But it's a figural brooch, and I like it. I like these. Um, it has a gold bezel, and it has, it does have a name on the back of it. It is, um, gosh, I can't remember. M Mamel or something, I don't know. I should have looked this up a little bit, but I think it's like Mamel, Mamel. Mamel, I don't know. But it is a little duck brooch. It's really, really cool. I love his jewel eye. I really like this one. It's $14, and it's number 58. $14, number 58, for the duck brooch. It goes to Sherry Gull. Sherry Gull. Ooh, about dropped your duck, Sherry. <laughs> Wouldn't have been good. Okay, um, I, have, I have one more thing that's going to be an offer up, but I'm going to go ahead and show this. I love this. This was in my video. It's the world's biggest, oh, the world's largest... <laughs> I like, it says, world's largest real hair. <laughs> but it's the world's largest real hair doll. And it's Miss Candy. Miss Candy and her very own dolly. And it says it comes with 22 costume pieces. I didn't count them. But, oh, and the box, the cover of the box, I still stuck this in there because, listen, this went with it and I can't bear to throw it away. So I don't know if you want to repair it, but... I am not throwing it away. If you want to do that, that's on you. I just, I don't, I, I can't. So, let me show you Miss Candy. Here she is. Isn't she fun? So, paper doll. Now, it says real hair. This is not human hair. I, it, that's not human hair. No, that's not human hair. I think they meant real hair as in it's real fake hair. But look at the back of her. She's having a bad hair day. She was having a bad hair day, um, but, and like the little bits, like where the box was torn up is kind of in her hair. So she needs a little bit of a, a hair fix or, you know, just have the little pieces of cardboard picked out of her hair. Uh, but she does have her stand, which is nice if you're wanting to display her because people do use these paper dolls in display. Like they'll dress them up with um, like their different holiday outfits and stuff too. They meant brushable hair. Well, maybe you could brush it back in the day, but if you brushed it now, I it, I just don't think that I would. But she does have her stand, um, and she also comes with her creepy little doll. Jeez. Isn't she fun? So she comes with her doll. They both have matching underpants on, and they she can hold her. And so let me show you and i think somebody wants to know what the date is i don't know if it had a date i'm i'm going to say it's from the 50s but i don't think that the date is on here it's from d um what was it day journet toys has the stock number on there but i there's no date on it anywhere but i'm going i'm going to take a guess and say that it's on the it's from the 50s sometimes there'll be a date somewhere down here but there isn't, but um, you know, like she's got some clothes and it's nice big size doll clothes. And she's got some pants. I don't know, I haven't sat down and counted all of the, the clothing pieces, but they're, oh my gosh, look, 
Even her doll has little matching pants. So I don't, I, I can't guarantee that every single piece is in here, but it's in really, really, really pretty good condition for the age of it. Isn't that pretty? And, um, oh, Michelle said, I only ran down to the basement. She's back. So there's clothes in here for her and for her doll. And I, I keep seeing like streams of her hair <sighs> flying in the, flying in the, in the way. So anyway, there she is. Um, so Miss Candy and her creepy doll are, um, Miss Candy and her doll are $18. And they are number six. Eighteen dollars, number six, for Miss Candy and her doll, and all of her accessories. Okay, gosh, nobody wanted Miss Candy. Violet. Who? Violet. Violet. I'm not seeing. Oh, there you go, Violet. Violet, you get Miss Candy. I'll wrap her up extra special. Okay, so I've got two more things. I'll in. I'll do this one thing, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is going to be an offer up. Um, this is a mushroom cookie jar. It is adorable. It reminds me of the Smurfs. Doesn't that look like the Smurfs that house? Is so cute. Now, the cookies, it was cold painted on there. And you know that red paint just doesn't stay on when it's cold painted on. It means it's they painted it over the glaze, and so it wasn't baked in. So it, it's going to come off. So it, it, just know that. But it's so cute. There isn't any damage on it other than where that red paint is coming off. Here's the little window in the back. And the flower and the door. I'll show you the lid. There's no, no chips on it anywhere. Uh, here's the little mushroom lid. So this is $16 for the mushroom cookie jar, and it's number eight. $16 for number eight. Really? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Graham bought number eight. I gave it like a few Hey, seconds. you know what? <laughs> I am thrilled because I don't have to ship it. He said, I gave it a few minutes. I, so, I, I gave it go. a few seconds. Cindy, I was like, that'll be fair. Graham's coming home with a mushroom cookie I'm jar. I'm sorry. It's just so cute. It is really cute. You can keep all your... What are you going to keep in there, Graham? All your cookies? I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got sugar-free cookies in it. There you go. And they're in little packages? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Why is Dad calling me? Dad, I'm alive right now. You're upstairs probably watching me right now. Rigged. I'm sorry. No, it's not rigged. I think they're joking. They are joking. Okay, so this last item on here, and then I'm going to be over on Instagram for my after the sale sale. No, it's not a stash jar. I will whoop him if it is. It is it's not. not. I, do, I don't do that stuff. <laughs> so I, I have things, uh, more 15 things. Um, on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, follow me on Instagram and you can participate in the next sale. Um, so this last item is going to be an offer up item. I love this thing. It's not going to be fun to ship, but I love it. And I think that somebody else will, will like it too. It is this Napco wear, um, juice pitcher. It says, good morning. And it has all these citrus fruit. Boop, 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 boop citrus fruits on it it is let me take this part off it is napco wear there on the bottom it's in excellent condition there aren't any yes it's today right after this one right after this one i'm going over to instagram it has no chips or flaws on it anywhere it does have the juice reamer as the lid again in excellent condition but wait that's not all it also has a set of six, well, now three, two, four, six, eight. I got to count. Math is hard. It has a set of eight glasses. Now, two of the glasses are horrible, and I'll show them to you in a minute. But um, here are the six of the glasses are in excellent condition. But you can see here, they all, the little nugget glasses say, good morning. Let's see those those two 
and these two and oh hang on a minute I left the sticker on there take that off and this one I bought these these cups I bought in Kentucky when I was down for that um, trip with George and Jeffrey and uh, Fatbird Fines and Trusty Huckster. Um, so, but then, so five, five of the cups are in excellent, perfect condition. This one is when it starts to go downhill a little bit. But this one has a chip. And, you know, this one has some issues. It's got some chips along and it's got a big chunk out of it there. These next two are in horrible <laughs> condition, but... I can't throw these these away. If if you win these and you don't want these cups, let me know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm not gonna throw them away. But if you don't want me to send them and weigh your package down, if you don't want any of the broken ones, just let me know. But these are in horrible condition. But I mean, look, something's been chewing on that one. It looks like, but I can't just throw them away. So I just wanted you to be well aware of that so three of the cups have damage five of the cups are in pristine no damage and the pitcher itself is in pristine no damage as well all right beautiful for a display i mean beautiful for a display with these colors okay so we're going to I'm going to start it at $10. I always do. I start them at $10. And as soon as Graham says that we're ready, we will start. And whenever you're ready, Graham. All right, so we're going to go. And go. It, they are made by Napco Wear. So you will get the pitcher and, and five pristine cups or... You know, I'll, I'll give you the extra three cups that are in not good condition. 13, so we're at 13. Shirley, Pearl. Shirley Pearl's at 13. 14. Bailey. 14, 15. Shirley Pearl, uh, 15, 15. 16, triple S. Triple S is at 16. 17, Blue Flamingo. Blue Flamingo is at 17. We've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds left. We've got 18 with Connie. Emmerich, 20 with Shirley Pearl. 20 at Shirley Pearl. Got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Shirley Pearl is at 20. Gotta go above 20. 22 with Triple S. Triple Take S. Over. Okay. So, who do you have? Triple S with $22. Triple S Mercantile, mercantile $22. So, Triple S, when you... Um, when you send me an email, let me know if you want the, the three damaged ones. If you don't want them to add to your to the weight of the package, then then that's fine. I just you know just let me know. Okay, so that is everything. So make sure that you send me a grandma's, grandma's double checking. Shirley, grandma's double checking. Yeah, that was after I said stop. Okay, Graham says it's after. He said stop. So thank you so much for watching and bidding and winning and liking. I'm at 211. That's so exciting for me. Um, make sure that you do come over and watch on Instagram. I have 15 really cool items that I'm going to be selling on there as well. If you bought something from me on YouTube and you buy something from me on Instagram, I'll combine the shipping. I will be working on um, invoices the next two days. Everything will ship out by Saturday. As long as it's paid for but you're you'll get your invoices and stuff by by friday so make sure that you, you still like and comment in the in the comment afterwards all of my information is in the description below and have a great rest of your day guys oh and nicole's sale in the nesting haven is having a sale tonight at 7 central on her youtube channel so i will see you guys here in a few minutes on instagram bye